What is up? Don't forget to follow me on Dreams and subscribe. Check out my channel playlist for individual tutorials on logic, sculpting, animation, music, and more. And so what is, and this is a game that I'm working on, I might show it. What is missing in mastering in Dreams PS4? First, let me go ahead and show you some music. Should be really dope, should be really dope. Mixing is whenever you would export your file as an MP3. So let's say we have all our sounds made for Dreams PS4. We have what we want and we've made proper edits to whatever we want. Mixing is whenever you would be releasing your game or saving it one of the two you might want to release it as private but usually whenever you would upload new music into dreams it would have this mix down and that's whenever you it pretty much compiles everything together it says preview sound or whatever that's what the mix is whenever uh, you're saving your work and then it has to preview the music and then if you were to release it then you would have released it. So mixing is just um, that in itself. Uh, that's what it, that should be what it's doing. I'm thinking. So mixing is pretty easy. It's just pretty much saving your work um, with new sounds. That option should pop up. Now mastering is whenever you're editing everything with equalizer and um, all the other effects that you want to add to your recording. So if we go to sound mode and i can't hear it because i i have this thing turned off on my ps4 whenever the uh, you know I'm, i have my mic plugged in but pretty much this is the waveforms right so mixing is whenever you get the volume right you use the compressor to make all the level waveforms that we just saw the same level so you mess around with this and it tries to make every waveform even the quiet parts the same level mess around with the dynamic compressor so right now we're mastering and this is a part of mastering also EQ this is probably the most important part turn this down a little bit if your voice sounds tinny if your voice has sounds muddy then turn the lows down these are the lows over here only a dog can hear that and these are the highs the mid highs and the highs so if your voice sounds tinny turn this one down just a little bit if you need to add bass to your voice turn this one up a little bit and you can do this with beats also this is how you make your beats sound um professional like if you want to put bass then you know to add more uh bass to your thing to your voice or whatever if you need to uh, cut out some bass lower these right here if you need to uh, make it more clear and lower this to your voice sounds tinny like you're talking through a telephone or um you know and the point is to make your voice sound more natural or if you're going for a distinct sound like you want your voice to sound like a telephone you can have this turned down and you can also use keyframes and action recorders to turn this down to change the beat uh, during the hook and the and the uh, verse, if you want to uh, mess around with that kind of stuff, or have fade-ins while the verse is happening, you can use keyframes to ch well, to change this with timelines and stuff like that. And you can look up my how to make beats tutorial. It'll probably pop up here, uh, up at the top of the uh, stream. Pop into the stream if you want to. Another thing with mixing is the master view so you can do this with all your sounds you can uh, select whatever one of these you want the channel and then you can make this as high as you want for those things generally if I'm making beats then I'll set everything to the same channel and then I'll heighten this up because whenever you are recording with the PlayStation share button to upload it to YouTube it's generally not loud enough so I like mess around with the sound usually make it about 50 or 60 before I upload it and then uh, everything works out. If it's your voice, then mess around with it. You don't want it to be too loud or too uh, or too weak, if that makes sense. So uh, mess around with it. And this is probably more important than EQ, but EQ is like equally as important, if that makes sense. These two things, having the sound the right level, not too high, not too low. Um, and EQ is how you make your voice sound more natural. So you select channels here. If uh, your sound doesn't have the option to use piano roll, 
that means you need to change one of these options down here. Probably change it to instrument. So over here we have the pitch changer. We have uh, where we want the audio to come from. So left side of the headphone, right side of the headphone, both and uh, controller and stuff right here. We have um, the fade zones. You can mess around with this if you please. Delay and reverb, very important. Uh, this stuff can actually make you more on beat, so mess around with the reverb and delay. Uh, you usually don't want this too high, the reverb or delay, but this can make you sound more on beat. And I noticed that for dreams, this right here can make your quality better, getting this just right, your audio quality for your vocals. So mess around with that also. This right here is like, you know, you, you can mess around with this. It's just effects to uh, change beats. Same as this, but you can use it for your voice. And then you have this stuff right here. So this right here is generally just for um, changing the beat whenever the hook starts. That's why I, that, that's when I use this stuff right here that I'm showing. I also use this to change the beat, high pitch, low pitch for the hook and the uh, and the uh, verse. That's why I use this right here, the pitch. And you can mess around with everything else. This right here changes where the beat starts or your voice starts. Usually I put this on once or loop, depending on what I want. And then you have your other options up here. With a signal generator, you can check out my how to make beats tutorials if you want to learn how to easily make beats with the signal generator, which is in the gadgets menu right here in the green. So this is how I mix and master. I would say EQ, this right here, getting your vo volume high enough, and reverb and delay, as well as this right here is good for vocals. You can mess around with everything else. I use everything else, generally speaking, for beats. If I want to make a beat sound different or have uh, a beat, have two beats uh, from one beat, it's usually this one right here I think I mess with, or it's this one, or it could be this one. I think it's this one. I I'm almost positive it's this one. If you want two beats playing off of the same beat, this will make that happen. If you put this over here, it'll be like, uh, another version of it but in a different pitch you can mess around with it and then whenever you save it that would be um the export and turn and that's when you're mixing usually it only does that whenever you import a new sound to dreams ps4 though but that's technically the mixing whenever it asks you to preview the new sound whenever it recognizes you put a new sound in dreams ps4 so volume right here, right here, sound channels right here, this right here, piano view, we change the instrument, we have that option now, piano roll view, how you make your beats, and this is how you plug the signal generator in there. And you can check out my how to make beats tutorial if you want to. You can also do this for timelines, inserting this into the timeline playhead. And it does something like this. It makes it loop. But as it's coming back, it makes a different melody. So original melody, different melody. Original melody, different melody. Because it's playing in reverse, it makes it really easy to make beats. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Mess around with once and looped and sustain. You usually don't want it on sustain. Don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Dreams, all that great stuff. Young Tech's YouTube on Dreams. Here's a game that I'm working on. Oh my gosh. Let me do something real quick, because I'm actually working on something else. I'm working on how to get it to spin while you're uh, flying in the air, if that makes sense. While you're doing this, I want it to spin. If you don't press triangle, then, uh, you know. Then you see, receive fall. Fall damage.
So this is how you mix and master in Dreams PS4. If I can get the other trick to happen, then I'll do it. There we go. All right, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, follow. Peace out. And I'm Young Text on Twitch.